Ladies and gentlemen, definitely check out my latest segments on the Durham probe and the fact that Andrew McCabe is still under investigation by John Durham. It is a special counsel, just like the Mueller probe. Remember the endless coverage of the Mueller probe? Now there are people who say, oh, the special counsel won't do anything. Well, Kevin Kleinsmith was indicted, and um, that was without any political will at all. Imagine if you have Republicans or Trump Republicans taking over the House of Representatives in 2022 and asking, well, why did President Obama's intelligence chiefs descend upon an incoming presidential candidate. Oh, maybe it had something to do with Peter Strzok's text messages, or James Comey utilizing a dossier purchased by Clinton, or Andrew McCabe lying under oath numerous times, leaking, an inf- leaking a story about the Clinton email probe to paint him in a good light because he also lied numerous times under oath pert- uh, uh, about why he leaked the information he, he's, okay, he was linked to hundreds of thousands of dollars from Terry McAuliffe and political action committees in Virginia. That's one reason he eventually recused himself, eventually, from the Clinton email probe. Um, but he was fired from the FBI, as was Peter Strzok, who was kicked off the Mueller probe. Comey was uh, removed by Trump. The whole thing collapsed. Everybody knows what's going on. It's just that Democrats don't want to deal with the reality that they're being investigated for utilizing government agencies against their direct political rivals. That's exactly what they did. And it was never above board. It was always partisan. It was always biased. Read the the Washington Examiner article below and watch the two segments prior to this one. Now you have a really hilarious turn of events where they have absolutely nothing on Trump. They don't have him on, you know, he did not uh, compel or incite or tell people to commit horrible acts uh, in January. They don't have anything on him. They're trying to indict him in the Southern District of New York. They don't have anything, okay? They probably will eventually, uh, you know, get him, try to charge him uh, on crimes that he will defeat in a court of law in New York, because that is the definition of a partisan um, investigation. They literally didn't have anything on him, so they had to obtain his his tax records just to try to find something. But Congress to probe rogue actions of Trump's Justice Department. You talk about the the, the Mueller probe, that was based on a Comey memo. Literally, there was no evidence uh, that Comey uh, told the truth in his memo. The, the crossfire hurricane and the Russia investigation, including the Mueller probe, were based on a dossier purchased by Clinton and the DNC. Hit subscribe, by the way, to this channel. Hit subscribe to H.A. Goodman's other channel. I have a great segment right after this one. It, it's below in the pinned comment. Uh, and if you want to support my voice long term, ladies and gentlemen, my Patreon is below and it's on hagoodman.com. Uh, where you can read my writing in The Hill, The Huffington Post, Salon, The Federalist. I talk a lot about the Durham probe in The Federalist. Uh, Read my writing on hagoodman.com. But here, Washington, the top two Democrats in in U.S. Congress on Sunday vowed to probe the rogue actions of the Justice Department during former President Donald Trump's term, including a move to seize communication records of Democratic lawmakers. These reviews will run parallel with an investigation of the department's own internal watchdog, uh, into moves to subpoena phone records of representatives uh, Adam Schiff, Schiff and Eric Swalwell as part of a probe into leaks of classified information. Well, if they're leaking information, that's against the law. So that's number one. The Justice Department under former Attorney General William Barr and Jeff Sessions was regularly accused of putting Trump's personal and political interests ahead of the law. Yeah, that's it's, they actually have the other way around. So Devin Nunes um, and others... Richard Grinnell, uh, who was the director of national intelligence, he accused Adam Schiff. So if you could could type in, Richard Grinnell is awesome. Richard Grinnell, and you could see this is a Fox article, Washington Examiner. Grinnell accuses Schiff and his team of regularly leaking information, regularly leaking classified information. That's against the law, okay? So, um, the Justice Department was 
First off, under Trump, find asking where all this classified data was being leaked and information to, to, information to utilize for stories against Trump. There were always sources. There were always uh, people familiar with the matter, unnamed former officials and current officials um, leaking information. It was a daily occurrence. Grinnell accuses Schiff and his team of regularly leaking classified information. Do I know if Adam Schiff is guilty? No, I don't. But uh, Democrats have paved the way for a mere accusation to be followed by an investigation. So Richard Grinnell facts, Schiff wouldn't return my call to coordinate on Director of National Intelligence reforms. The reforms were asked for, for by career officials for years. Schiff complained when I appointed the first female head of, okay, Schiff and team regularly leaked classified information. That's Richard Grinnell, the director, former director of national intelligence under President Trump. Okay, I think the director of national intelligence under Trump, uh, I don't think it's a stretch. We, I have no clue if, if Mr. Grinnell is right about Representative Schiff, but it's not a stretch to imagine that uh, a, 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 a Democratic lawmaker on CNN hundreds of times, literally, and MSNBC, uh, uh, would leak that information. OK, especially when he was uh, Schiff was caught on tape uh, speaking to two Russian comedians and wanted compromat on Trump. OK, but that's another. So Nunez also. So. Devin Nunez also. So, OK, um, Nunez versus Schiff fire five areas Schiff. Hold on one second. There's one where Devin Nunes. Okay, so Devin Nunes. Let's see, I can't find that. But I know that Devin Nunes did accuse Schiff. I, I'm almost certain on that, so don't quote me yet. But here, uh, AP fact check. Obama doesn't always tell the straight story. So they're also upset about um, Trump's DOJ uh trying to find out um, information on on journalists, which, which is bad, right? I agree with that. The facts, Trump may use extraordinary rhetoric to undermine trust in the press. Tr there should never be trust in anything unless, unless the press or an individual pr uh, earns your trust, okay? Most Americans feel that journalists are biased toward, on, <laughs> toward, for the, biased, against Trump and Republicans and their, bi their, their, their prejudices and biases and their viewpoints correlate with the Democratic Party. That's because these are lifelong Democrats. They have a liberal philosophy on things. So therefore, they, uh, they, they make extreme leaps of logic with Trump and Russia and they work to undermine stories like Hunter's email probe or the fact that he almost certainly used a really, really horrible, horrendous, the most offensive word in the English language, or the fact that Eric Swalwell is, is accused of having a romantic relationship with a foreign operative, or a whole bunch of other things like Clinton with top secret intelligence on servers running outside of the United States government. But here are the facts. Trump may use extraordinary rhetoric, but Obama arguably, arguably went further using extraordinary actions to block the flow of information to the public. The Obama administration used the 1917 Espionage Act with unprecedented enthusiasm, prosecuting more people under that law for leaking sensitive information to the public than all previous administrations combined. Uh, in 2013, the Obama administration obtained the records of 20 Associated Press Office phone lines. 20! Okay? I don't know if Trump is accused of going after 20 journalists and home and cell phones, seizing them without notice as part of investigation into the disclosure of information about a foiled uh, plot. 20 phone lines? Hello? 20? Did Trump go after, uh, obtain the records of 20 uh, journalists and their private information? No. Again, but Democrats get away with... Um, Democrats get away with everything. Like, you know, everything. It, it's pretty unbelievable. It's pretty unbelievable. The article will be below. This is a Washington Post. I'm sorry, an AP fact check 
uh, Associated Press article, but here, the blueprint was drawn by Obama, shocked by Trump's aggression against reporters and sources. The blueprint was drawn by Obama. June 8, 2018, Washington Post. Under Obama, the Justice Department subpoenaed telephone records of AP journalists as investigators pursued a leak. Okay, uh, went after uh, Fox News reporter James uh, Rosen and named him a co-conspirator in a leak. Okay, and, ja- uh, and James Rosen, then a New York Times reporter, struggled for years to avoid testifying about his confidential source during a leak investigation of Jeffrey Sterling. The Obama administration went after uh, Jeffrey Sterling, which they shouldn't have. So it's unbelievable. Give me your thoughts below.